Welcome to the February Market Thoughts video. My name is Maria Considine King, and I'm joined by Brad McMillan, Chief Investment Officer at Commonwealth Financial Network. Brad, the year started off with a deal on the fiscal cliff. Did that really solve the problem? Well, the fiscal cliff deal did make real progress. There are two components of what had to be solved. The first was taxes, the other was spending. Had the deal not been cut, taxes would, would have gone up by a substantial amount. What the deal did was it extended and made permanent the Bush tax cuts for the vast majority of the population. That was a really, really good thing in terms of supporting consumer demand. Because if that had not happened, taxes would have, would have gone up and we would have had a situation where consumer demand would have absolutely tanked. And that's two thirds of the economy. What the deal did not do was deal with the spending part of the equation. It postponed discussion of the sequester spending for a couple of months, and that actually is only part of what has to be done. So it was a very positive short-term solution, but it was only a partial solution, and that's going to have to be resolved in the next couple of months. And what did it do for the economy? The economy is actually growing substantially, and it's largely based on consumer spending. We did have a very weird fourth quarter GDP report where the economy contracted. But if you look at the details of that, consumer spending, very strong. Business investment, surprisingly very strong. And that's actually one of the missing pieces of the recovery. What killed us on that was a contraction in federal spending, which seems a little mysterious and might end up being revised away, and a decline in net exports. Both of those are going to continue, and that's actually going to be a good example of the kind of headwinds we're going to face going forward. But that said, consumer spending is doing well, it's growing, wages are actually increasing on a real basis, which is very important. Housing is recovering, supply is at multi-year lows, price increases are at multi-year highs, demand is high and getting higher. We have the ingredients for a sustained recovery but the federal spending cuts are going to be a serious headwind. January was a strong month for the markets with the Dow up over 5.7 percent and the S&P up over 5. Are the fundamentals in place for those gains to continue? You're starting to see a shift in the narrative about how people treat the economy and the stock market. You're starting to see funds from retail investors, the average investor, flow back into the stock market. That is very important. We've also seen markets break some key psychological barriers that suggest to people, to the average investor, that in fact they're going to continue to go higher. Right now I think the trend is very strongly in place and the expectations are very strongly in place for continued market appreciation. And that tends to be a self-fulfilling self prophecy. As I say, the economy itself is healing and that obviously gives kind of the underpinnings of a market expansion. But we do face those headwinds. In the short term, I think there's no doubt, well, I can never say that, I think there is a high probability that the market is going to continue to do well. Longer term, I have some concerns based on valuation levels. Speak to us a little bit more about the recovery. What sectors are doing well? Housing, as I mentioned, is doing extremely well, and that really is the underpinnings of an economy. Mm -hmm. I had a chance to listen to Alan Greenspan a while ago, and what he said was, we're not going to see a sustainable recovery until long-lived investment comes back. We have not seen that so far in this recovery. We did see that in the fourth quarter. Businesses are investing. New housing construction is coming back. Multifamily construction is coming back. Plant and equipment is coming back. All of these pieces are what happens when business finally starts to get convinced that the recovery is real and it will lay the groundwork for an even stronger recovery. Thank you, Brad. Thank you, Maria. And thank you. Please join us next month for the Market Thoughts video.